welcome to this quick walkthrough of story number three from book number one of Qasas al Nabiyyin. In this video, we will go through the translation of the story and we will pick apart some grammatical concepts and vocabulary. So, inshallah, whatever level you are on, you can take some benefit. So, as we proceed, story number three Nasiha to Ibrahim. Ibrahim's advice. Nasiha means advice. And there is a very famous hadith, Ad-Deenun Nasiha. Now the story proceeds. وَكَانَ إِبْرَاهِيمُ يَقُولُ لِوَالِدِهِ وَكَانَ إِبْرَاهِيمُ يَقُولُ And Ibrahim used to say, لِوَالِدِهِ To his father or uncle, possibly as we mentioned in a previous video. So, وَكَانَ إِبْرَاهِيمُ يَقُولُ لِوَالِدِهِ And Ibrahim used to say to his father, يَا أَبِي لِمَاذَا تَعْبُدُ هَذِهِ الْأَصْنَامُ O father, لماذا تعبد هذه الأصنام؟ Why do you تعبد؟ Why do you worship هذه الأصنام؟ These idols. ويا أبي لماذا تسجد لهذه الأصنام؟ And O oh Father, why do you prostrate to these idols؟ ويا أبي O oh, my Father لماذا تسأل؟ Why do you ask هذه الأصنام؟ يعني Why do you ask these idols. Inna hadihi al-asnama la tatakallamu wa la tasma'u. Indeed, these idols do not talk, nor do they hear. Inna means indeed or verily. It is used for emphasis. The ism of inna is always mansub, as we can see here. In this specific instance, there is a this is a tausifi relationship between hadhihi al asnam, yani it is mansub and sifa. So hadhihi al asnam is mansub. It is the ism of inna la tatakallamu wa la tasmau. So verily or indeed, these idols la tatakallamu they do not talk, nor do they hear. وَإِنَّ هَذِهِ الْأَصْنَامَ لَا تَضُرُّ وَلَا تَنْفَعُ And indeed, these idols do not harm, nor do they benefit. وَلِأَيِّ شَيْءٍ تَضَعُ لَهَا الطَّعَامَ وَالشَّرَابِ لِأَيِّ شَيْءٍ literally means, and for what thing. Nani, it means, لماذا? Why? If you speak عَمِّيَّ, or if you're learning عَمِّيَّ, you may notice the word لَيْشْ which is often used to mean why, is essentially a shortened form of li shayin. It is derived from this leish, yani li ayy shay, leish. Wa li ayy shayin tadau laha at ta'ama wa sharab. And why tadau laha? Do you place for them, yani al asnam, at ta'ama wa sharab? And why do you place food and drink for the idols? At ta'am means food. والشراب is drink. وإن هذه الأصنام يا أبي لا تأكل ولا تشرب. And indeed, these idols, O oh Father, do not eat nor do they drink. وكان آزر يغضب ولا يفهم. And آزر used to get angry and did not understand. غضب يغضب means to be angry. غضب غضب يغضب means to be angry and فهم يفهم means to understand فهم يفهم means to understand وكان إبراهيم ينصح لقومه وكان الناس يغضبون ولا يفهمون and Ibrahim used to ينصح لقومه Ibrahim used to give advice so nasaha na saha yansahu means to give advice if you give advice to something it's usually followed by the preposition li wa kana ibrahimu yansahu li qaumihi and ibrahim used to advise his people qaum means people ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam used to advise his people wa kana nasu yaghdabuna wa la yafhamun and the people used to get angry and they did not understand. قال إبراهيم أنا أكسر الأصنام إذا ذهب الناس وحين إذن يفهم الناس 
قال إبراهيم إبراهيم عليه الصلاة والسلام سأل أنا أكسر الأصنام إذا ذهب الناس وحين إذن يفهم الناس أنا أكسر كسر the verb كسر يكسر means to break أنا أكسر الأصنام I will break the idols إذا ذهب الناس when the people go وحين إذن then يفهم الناس the people will understand you may have noticed I translated this sentence as Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam said he uh, I will break the idols when the people go yet Dhahaba is past tense it is not future the answer is because if a past tense verb such as Dhahaba is preceded by this word Ida then it gives a future meaning إِذَا ذَهَبَ النَّاسُ means when the people go or for example إِذَا أَكَلَ النَّاسُ when the people eat إِذَا نَامَ النَّاسُ when the people sleep it comes in the future meaning وَحِينَ إِذِن the word حِينَ إِذِن means then يَفْهَمْ النَّاسُ then the people will understand as we mentioned before فَهِمَ يَفْهَمُ means to understand and that brings us to the end of this story. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. But that's it from me. Take care and I'll see you on the other side, inshallah, in the next video. Ma'asalaba.